Hello there YouTube, this is AZSXW2 coming in uh, with a video on Blender once again. Um, this tutorial is going to be on character ridging, which is like, you know, adding like bones. If you notice, I believe everyone notices, you have bones in your body that like give you stretch and whatnot, and then you also have muscles. Well, what ridging does, it pretty much adds the bones and muscles to your model so you can animate them instead of having to select every individual little poly and little shape and everything like that and actually having to move each of those it's a lot quicker and if you learn it it's really really helpful so let's open up blender in our default scene yeah real quick I I'll try to put the file in the description find a way to add it so what we're gonna do we're gonna open 3D Studio. I have this model already. Um, thanks to the person who made this, I got it off of I don't know, like Turbo Squid, I think it was. Really good character. Props to the dude who made this. So here's our default model. I'm gonna hit one. Uh, actually, three. <laughs> hit three. As you see, it's like a little really low poly. For the, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually do it. Let me see. There we go. I'm gonna go to modifiers real quick. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it just for the sake of me not being annoyed. Okay, switch you to smooth. Hit apply. Okay. Now what we want to hit three. Once you get the model loaded or the model you're trying to ridge. Shift A. Armature. There it is single bone. Now you're like, where's the bone? There's no bone anywhere. Okay. Go over to the little dude with the heads, the... I forgot what this is actually called, believe it or not. The armature, like, I guess, group section. Hit x-ray. Okay, so... That allows you to view the bones and everything like that. There are four different types. You have stick, which is like a tiny little stick if you, you can't really see it because it's a axe. It's just sick. See, there's a the little stick right there. It's three. You have B-bone. This is really good for spines and necks because like whenever it bends, it like creates like a bunch of tiny little discs. And envelope. I'm not sure what that does. If you want to leave a comment, then go ahead. So we're just going to stick with this for now. And what we can do now is hit tab. This is just a basic, basic thing. So I'm not really going to go into detail with the spine or anything, just how to ridge it and crap like that. So you're going to scale it. Um, let me see. Z. <laughs> Troll Z. Fail. Scale it. That's about right right there. Hit G. Move that four like that right there. Hit G, move you downish. Make sure you're all lined up nice. That's about good. At three. Okay, to extrude it, pretty much how you do it with shapes, just hit E. Extrudes it like that. Some people don't do the shoulder bones, like they just go straight on the arms. I prefer it actually. The reason being is because it allows you to like do like little shoulder shrugs and what not like that like say if you want to like go like that once we ridge it I'll rem if I remember I'll show you <laughs> this is my first time at going at this hoping for the best I don't do the mirror technique either I don't really like it some people do it's r so they say it's faster I like to actually do it myself I don't know why I just weird thing I like to do if you go like that, yada yada yada, that good jazz, hit E again, that allows for palm, and I'm just gonna, you just keep on doing that to the whole thing, so I'm gonna pause, okay, and we are back, as you can see, I have ridged my character, um, if, hopefully you've done yours, and now that we have done this, Hit tab, yada yada yada, hit A, shift, 
right click, right click, control P. It brings up all these different options. Pretty much this is saying you're going to parent the option, you're going to parent this object to this or make this like the adult of that object or whatever. And what you pretty much just want to do, just click with automatic weights. That's typically what I do. Makes my life easier, I prefer. It, once you click that, you go, boop. It does all this. It's calculating, like, how, what polys is this going to take? What polys is this going to take? Like, what polys is all this? What polys is all this? Sorry, um, I'm not used to, like, using just voice. I'm, like, pointing at everything. Okay, so, once you do that, you see that. If you didn't do that, you just have, like, a skeleton but it wouldn't move the actual mesh so now that this is done if we go which right here pose mode yay never saw that before have you okay so now under theory if done right so a a yeah a c selects all of them right click like that if i rotate it Yay! Isn't that nice? You can go to Y. Rotate X. You can do this to all the bones. Naturally, or else it wouldn't really be useful. Okay, so if you hit AA and you go rotate, it rotates the whole body. Or you can just select this and go rotate. It does that. comes in pretty handy and then down here um, doop. oh groups haha -ha. you can gr make a group like select like certain bones you want like go like boo do 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 actually no nah, that'd be a retarded group you guys are fucked <laughs> let's say if we want to group the neck bone and the spine and the head you can select that shift and then right click in case you don't know that it's a pretty basic command anyways <laughs> go to the little plus thing on the bottom yada 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 you have those this allows you to change the color so like say if you want it to look like that hit a sign and this whoopsie <laughs> not to deselect you guys hit the double click to deselect don't know why they do that that's kind of retarded there we go now hit a sign yada 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 you have that and then you can do that with the arms the like this comes in real good handy with like really complicated structures and whatnot there we go set a sign you know, you have your arms, and you can keep on doing that, so and so on and so on. Also, if you want to be more organized, I really don't use the names, but you can use, like, the names, and, like, you can right select a bone, go back to here, you can go like that. That's, that's the bone selected, so I guess we'll call it spine, so we'll hit S P I N E, enter. Changes the name right there. That helps with organization, like, tell where is where. In case you want to turn like X-ray off, be like, what the heck? I didn't know that. <laughs> Typically, it works with me. I guess it's click. That's why. And then you can see like where the bone is, which is kind of pointless because you can't really see the name. Is because it's not visible. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I typically work in wireframe mode and weird like that, but. For the tutorial, I'm doing it like this. I prefer to do that. It looks nicer if you do it like this. I don't know. I'm babbling now. <laughs> okay, so there's all the bones, yada, yada, yada. Learned how to group them or change the colors. Parenting to get it working and all. Yada, yada, yada. If you want to, you can also. Just say A. No, I want the little knob. Cause it's not gonna let me do it today. Hmm. It's not really working. <laughs> okay. 
snuff. Go point and go rotate. It's pretty much it. do a bunch of random crap like that. There's different like motion paths and custom properties and different things like that. Never really mess with those too much. I just use these main things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, hopefully I'll be more detailed in the future and whatnot. Look in the description, leave comment, rate, subscribe, yada yada yada. Hopefully new videos will come in the future. And that's a very awkward angle. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye.